Hello everyone, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Today we're going to be talking about how to use remote seduction. I'm going to be sharing with you three very important keys to using remote seduction effectively. These three keys may metaphorically unlock the door. They may be exactly what you've been missing when it comes to manifesting a specific person into your life. I know I have a few other videos on my channel about remote seduction, but stick around for this particular video because I am going to be explaining remote seduction in a different way. A very simple and beginner friendly way and yet teaching you a very powerful remote seduction method. This technique will work for you. It doesn't matter how much you know about remote seduction or even if you're just hearing about it for the first time. Like I said, this is a very beginner-friendly technique and the keys I'm going to be including in this video are some of the things I see tripping people up most often when it comes to manifesting a certain romantic relationship in their life. So for those of you who aren't familiar with me or my channel, I also have created subliminal affirmations tracks on a separate website and in my videos I often reference these tracks because in my own life and in the lives of many, many of my members, we have seen major positive changes by simply listening to these subliminal affirmations tracks. I just want to let you know that if you're interested in any of the tracks I mentioned throughout this video, check out the description box because I'm going to show you how to sign up for a seven day free trial on my website. And this free trial account will actually give you access to every single one of the subliminals I reference in this video and throughout all my other videos across my channel. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Now, for those of you who may be unfamiliar with the idea of remote seduction, let's start with a working definition. Let's call remote seduction consciously directing the energy of your mind to create specific romantic relationships in your life. That's all it is. It sounds much fancier and more complicated than it really is. As I said in my last video on how to manifest someone specific or how to make someone fall in love with you, all remote seduction is, is using the law of attraction to essentially create the spark. All romance begins with that spark, that chemistry, that physically attracting feeling. And that's the feeling we are consciously creating through our, through our thoughts, excuse me, when we use remote seduction. So you may be tempted to skip straight to the three simple remote seduction steps I'm going to be sharing later in this video. But I seriously recommend you stick around and wait and listen to these keys first. And here's why. The steps to remote seduction are actually very simple. Deceivingly simple. It's not the actions themselves that hold the power. It's your energy behind the actions. 
And these keys I'm going to be sharing with you first are all about lining up your energy simply by listening to this video, by immersing in the information I'm going to share with you and truly absorbing it into your mind. You are going to experience a shift in your perception. In fact, I'd go so far as to say within the next few minutes, you may actually feel a literal energetic shift in your being. You may feel a little bit lighter. You may find yourself seeing the world a little bit differently. And that tells you something in your energy has shifted. So part one of this video, I'm going to help you accomplish that energetic shift. And once you've shifted, taking these simple action steps with that new energy behind them will help you successfully use remote seduction with a kind of ease and clarity that you've never had before. That is the power of being aligned before taking action. And that's what I'm going to help you achieve through this video. So let's get right into the top three keys you need to understand when it comes to remote seduction. Key number one, I already touched on this a little bit, but key number one is energy trumps action. I want you to think back to a time when you were in love with someone and they didn't seem to reciprocate your affection. They didn't seem interested. Most likely, you found yourself at first texting this person all the time, complimenting them, maybe dressing up nicely around them, trying to be funny and witty with them and basically get their attention in any way possible. But this person wasn't interested and nothing you did seemed to work. I know this will sound familiar to almost all of us. We've all been there in our lives. Now, when you realized that texting them all the time, trying to get their attention all the time wasn't working, most likely you realized it wasn't working and you thought, I'm being too needy, I'm being too desperate. Instead of actively pursuing them, I'm going to be mysterious. I'm going to not text them back as fast. I'm going to talk to them less. I'm going to be more distant. So you try this new technique of getting their attention by pretending that you're not trying to get their attention. And I'm guessing that for 99% of you, that really didn't work either. This person still wasn't interested didn't seem to want to date you or commit to you. And you're thinking to yourself, what gives? I tried to actively romantically pursue this person. And then I tried to act disinterested and neither way seemed to really work. And I'm going to tell you why it never worked. Because your energy spoke louder than your words. Energy always speaks louder than our words. So even though you may have been saying and doing all the right things, honestly, it wouldn't have mattered what you did or didn't do. This person was being pushed away by your energy. If you think of it in terms of magnets, what we want to create with this person is a magnetic pole, that energetic magnetic pole whole we refer to as attraction what was happening with you in this person was essentially you had your energy turned around backwards like the wrong end of a magnet and you were actually repelling one another instead of attracting them so i'm going to show you how to flip that the other way so just as strongly as you may have felt you were once pushing this person away, you are now going to feel them just as strongly drawn towards you, drawn into your life. So energy 
always is more important than actions. Key number two, you aren't actually aware of all your thoughts. Now, sit with that for a second because I know it sounds weird. You're thinking to yourself, well, at any moment I can think about what I'm thinking. I know what I'm thinking. But I want to give you a scenario. Have you ever gotten into a bad mood and had no idea why? Like out of nowhere, your mood just dropped. Have you ever had that happen and not even been able to trace back the thoughts that led you into that bad mood? It's like one minute you were fine, the next minute you were upset. The reason for this is because not all of our thoughts are stored in the conscious mind. In fact, most research has shown even up to 95% of our thoughts are stored in our subconscious mind. What makes this important is our subconscious is an area of our mind we aren't really aware of because it's running on autopilot. It's like the song that plays in the background of a store that you can barely hear, but it's still there playing over and over on a loop, right? What we need to do to truly change our thoughts, shift our energy, and attract a specific person into our life is not only focus on changing our conscious thoughts, but even more so, focus on changing our subconscious thoughts. Now, how do we go about doing this? I always say here on my channel, my favorite and most effective and powerful way to change the thoughts in the subconscious mind is through the use of subliminal affirmations tracks. The reason I love these so much is because it's incredibly simple and yet so effective. All you need to use subliminals is headphones and even if you don't have headphones, you can just play them aloud through your phone. Now, when selecting a subliminal track for remote seduction, you need to think about whether or not you have negative thoughts in your subconscious holding you back from manifesting this person. I will say that if you've had trouble manifesting this relationship for longer than a few weeks, you absolutely have some kind of subconscious negativity going on. For those of you who are members on my site or interested in signing up, the subliminals I would recommend for clearing negativity from the subconscious will be linked in the description. You can click on any of the subliminal links to explore all of the messages that are contained within that particular track and really dive into what that track can do to transform your subconscious mind. Specifically, I would recommend a track I've created that is very comprehensive for clearing out all kinds of negativity from the mind. This is very effective if you're unsure exactly where your negative thoughts are coming from. For those of you who simply want to manifest someone faster or really amplify your magnetic connection with this person, really strengthen that bond that draws you together. I also have several subliminals designed just for that purpose. Again, you can read more about what's contained in each track by clicking the links in the description box. But regardless, you need to find some way of reprogramming your subconscious mind. So tip number, or I should say key number three, and this may be the most important of all, to make someone fall in love with you, you have to fall in love with you. 
It sounds cheesy, but it's so true. If you lack self love, you can't attract love from others into your life. Because in this universe, love truly is love. Love energies are identical, whether they are directed inward or outward. In other words, loving yourself. Allows you to radiate loving energies to everyone around you. In these loving energies, you radiate inward and outward, create a magnetism about your being that attracts literally everything you want to manifest into your life, but especially your romantic relationships. So find a way to amplify your own sense of self love. To heal your relationship with yourself. A few ideas for how you can do this are begin journaling every day. Write down all the things you're proud of, all the things you're grateful for about your body, about your accomplishments, about the life you've created up until this point. Sometimes we get so focused. On the things we want to manifest into our lives, we actually give away our power because all of our power is only in the present moment. And if you can't love yourself in this moment, you can't improve your life and you definitely can't attract this ideal relationship you desire. For those of you who are members on my subliminal site, I have a particular subliminal. Very powerful and designed to amplify love energies, beginning with self love energies, to really help you feel, embrace, and amplify your own self love. And the reason that doing this is so powerful is, like I said, loving yourself actually turns you into a magnet from lo- for love from everyone around you. So, guys, those are my three keys to using remote seduction. So, now I'm going to get, to get into the steps. Like I said at the beginning of this video, these steps are actually very simple, but that doesn't mean they're easy because you have to put the right kind of energy into them. Step number one. Is withdraw your energy from this person. This may sound counterintuitive, but if you've been romantically pursuing this person for a while, your energy has actually began to create a kind of heaviness around them. Because that energy hasn't been clear, hasn't been positive all the time. You've actually been pushing them away by thinking about them so much and contacting them so much. So, promise to yourself that just for some allotted period of time, you're not going to text them, you're not going to call them, you're not going to actively pursue them. You're going to withdraw your energy from them with the purpose of focusing within. Because everything in our external world, even our relationships, are actually reflections of our internal world, internal world. So decide right now you're going to focus on yourself first before taking some kind of action with this person. Step two is create a new vision. You can either make a vision board if you're a visual person. Or you can simply write this vision down. But I want you to describe in great detail how this, I- this relationship would look if it was ideal, if it was everything you ever wanted. You'll know you've created a powerful vision when it begins to bring up emotions within you emotions of joy, excitement, love, enthusiasm. 
Once you've created a compelling vision for this new relationship with this person, all that's left to do in step three is make this vision more real than reality itself. Not just today or right now, but every day from now on for at least 21 days, I want you to wake up and before unlocking your phone or checking your messages, I want you to revisit this vision you've created for this relationship. I want you to meditate for 15 to 20 minutes and as you meditate, imagine this full-blown relationship as if it's already happening around you. As I always say, engage as many of the physical senses as possible while you visualize. When this vision or any vision becomes more real than the reality around you, it will take the place of your current reality. You can call this shifting. You can call this going to a parallel universe. You can call this manifesting. Whatever you want to call it, it's the mysterious and magical thing that happens when we believe something so much we draw it into our lives so effortlessly, it's like it was always there to begin with. Good luck with your remote seduction practice. I believe in you. I know you can absorb these ideas and apply them effectively. The mere fact that you're listening to this video all the way to the end shows your commitment shows your dedication to manifesting ideal love into your life. And I just want to close by saying, I hope you never forget, you are so utterly worthy of love, your own love, love from others, and love from this specific person. You are so lovable. As you go through these steps, as you reprogram your mind, you'll do more than manifest this specific relationship with this certain person. Along the way, you will deepen your relationship with yourself. And that will be the best reward of all. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. If I resonated with you, please subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. Check out my subliminal site, soundandsoulful.com to access over 100 powerful subliminal tracks and transform every area of your life just by listening. I hope you have a wonderful, magical day. And I'll see you again in the next podcast.